Steve Rogers from TIG Integrity and uh, with my uh, rooster tail sliding mounts for transducers. This one here is set up for a hummingbird models with this particular bracket. So if you've got this bracket and this slide will fit yours and, and there's many others we do as well which you'll, you could probably have a look at other videos and see the different models available. Anyway, I just want to show you how, how it works. Um, I custom make these to suit your individual boat. So I can weld on plates on the back according to what you got. So if you've got a like a transom plate you want, it, I can put it down the bottom. Or if you've just got a straight up situation, flat flat at the back of the transom there, I can just weld on plates here and you can, I can, I can do whatever you want. So this one here is set up at the moment with a, a 20 degree dead, dead rise angle. I've just tried them out with different angles here. So 10, 20 and 30. And I've just got this one on like 25 degree. So it's pretty steep just to make sure the transducer's in the water and also that the transducer can get out of the water because that's the whole point of it, is to get it out of the water, tuck behind the transom if you beach launch. Anyhow, I'll just show you how it works. Um, so fix it down, however, we can either fix through the tags or through the center, I can drill some holes in there. So fix it down, set up the, the bottom of the transducer according to uh, where Humminbird want their transducer set. There's plenty of videos on that sort of thing. But you can set it a little bit more down so you can go a little bit deeper in the water because this transducer will allow, will, this, this mount here will allow that to happen. So set it up, screw it down, it's all tight, it's all on, right? So simply, you know, that's when you're not using it. It's, it's hooked up back there and that's strong as. You can tighten that up, but that's just, just illustration purposes. Um, tighten up the hand bolt here when you're driving around with it, not really using it. And when you get into the, when you get the boat in the water, Drop it back down and the transducer is sitting below the specified height. Just get a little bit deeper in the water. Don't put it deep, you don't need it too deep in the water because it'll just smash up and cause spray. So you set that up where you want it and that's it. Um, and I've got a locking nut on here so that we can lock it up so that there's no way that that can come off. It's not going to vibrate loose and come off. But also with your, with your kit you'll get a key and if you don't have the hand strength just use the key tighten it up, well that's locked in, that's not going to go anywhere, but even better using the lock nut, a couple of turns with that, and that's all you need and that's done, and that's alum aluminium key, and that, that is, you can't get that undone now, that's, that's locked in and it cannot come off, so that's a good secure option there for, so that doesn't, this thing cannot come off at all. And simply one or two turns of the half, half turns of the, the nut, one, two, Three, be enough to get your hand your fingers in there and you, you might want to undo it with the key as well lift it up out of the way lock it off and you're safe it's not going anywhere it's not going to drop down on you again you can lock it if you like one two you could go on corrugated roads or anything and that's not coming that is not going to drop down at all also do a spray guard to suit which is a little bit more complicated because every boat's different and because on this particular design here, the spray guard's got to go quite higher, so that's when there's a problem. That means the spray guard itself has to go larger, like wider, in order to get the, to deflect the spray. So this one here, this is this is aluminium, but it's got the plastic on it, so that's why it's blue. So the spray guard fits in the same in the same manner. So let's get this down. You're, you're in the your boat's in the water. Unlock your hand, the locking nut, unlock the, the, the hand, hand knob there, put that down to your position you want it, lock it off, tighten up your hand, one, two, three, that's locked in, this carriageway can't come off anyway because it's got the secure, the secure piece down here that doesn't allow it to come off anyway, just, but I just like to double, overdo things and double, Double check them, make sure it doesn't come off. So you get your spray guard set up. You've got your cord running here. Oh, firstly you've got to take out this little stop nut. Stop the thing coming out the top. Just slide that on. Put your cord through the little hole there. Slide it on. So that now does the same same thing. Locks in. Let's put this back in. Put 
little stop nut back in there. Stop it coming out at the top. Quarter inch bolt. So there, so this one's the same thing. Set this at a height you need, but I'm more than likely gonna have it right down the bottom because the higher it goes, the less deflection it's gonna have. So you wanna get down as far as you can. Tighten it off, get the key, fill up your hand. Couple of twists with the key, and that's locked in. So that's secure. The transducer's secure, nothing's moving. When you finish for the day, get your key, unlock the locking nut. Three, simple as that. You need to do it with your hand or with the key. Bring it up out of the way. Now you're going to be driving home, so lock it up. Might as well do the locking nut up as well. In case you've got corrugated roads or whatever. So that's locked up there. That's not going anywhere. And same thing with the, the carriageway for the transducer. And lock the lock nut. Just this, this key just saves you doing it with your hand. It's just harder, that's all. I can get other fittings like these big huge wing nuts here and things like that but I think this is definitely better with this besides that's quite wide it's still hard on your hands this is just this makes things so much easier push up out of the way lock it off with your hand that's locked off do your lock nut up two three and everything's locked up safe and secure for your trip home. Now I'm, I'm doing these aluminium cover plates because most of the boats that are buying these sliders are like a plate aluminium boat. So aluminium is a lot easier to work with than stainless. I've got to polish it all up and I've got to, you know, if you wanted to make changes, it's so much harder to do. You've got to polish the joint up. Whereas with the aluminium, if you want to make any changes back at your place, it's easier than having to cut it and then you've got to polish it up with the stainless. This is so much easier to work with for you and for me Therefore, it just makes it better for everybody. What I like to do also is have the side that the motor's on a lot longer than the side where there isn't the motor. So in this circumstance here on 20 degree dead rise, angle here, and we drop this down, we lock it off. The 20 degree dead rise, we've pretty much got, we don't want this guard hanging out into the water here, do we? So there's your hole coming up here. You want this just to sit behind the transom a little bit. So any of the sprays being deflected out there, but then on your motor side, which you can't see on the camera, but this is a little bit longer. I, I, like, I prefer to do that. Even though it's not perfectly symmetrical, I still make it look good. And it just means on the side that the motor is, you've got a little bit more guard. And that way you, you, you're not having spray going all over your motor. So you protect your spray from the top, the rooster spray, what they call it, but the, the spray that goes all over your motor, if this is a little bit longer on this side, this is deeper and therefore it needs more guard to stop that spray spraying all over the side of your motor too. And the more you stop, the better, isn't it? Obviously, there's things I can do, like put a, one day I'll put a, like a stop, like a depth stop here, where you might want to fine tune where it sits or something like that. But again, it's all cost. And so I'm trying to keep it, I don't want to spend too much having every single situation covered for, but I'd really appreciate if you left some sort of comment. It, help, it helps the, uh, the channel, but also, it, it helps me design a better, come up with a, even just get better product all the time. And, and if I have to make changes or, or make some sort of change, then, then I'll do so. But yeah, so we send anywhere in the world uh, with these with these sliders. They're just a lot more heavier duty than um, and any others that are available. It's all three millimeter stainless steel for the majority of it. That's it, so if you're interested in um, any more information, just let me know on my email, which is tigintegrity at bigpond.com. Put that in the description. Or give me a call or, or Facebook, TIG Integrity, if you want any, any, any more information on that sort of thing. And you get a couple of stickers too when you buy one. They're pretty cool stickers and they're all the best quality. They're all UV resistant, uh, salt water resistant. So you might want to stick them on your boat somewhere for a bit of advertising for me. And they're cool stickers too. All right, thanks for watching.